Fighting has continued in Syria on the eve of the first parliamentary elections in four years. This footage purports to show government airstrikes hitting rebel-held areas in Homs province. Activists say barrel bombs were used in Talbise. Two people were reported to have been killed and many injured. The self-proclaimed Islamic State has retaken a strategically important town near the Turkish border on the supply route to its territory in Aleppo province. An eruption of fighting in the region in the last fortnight marks the most serious challenge to a truce brokered by the US and Russia. UN envoy Staffan de Mistura visiting Damascus has been told by the Syrian government that Turkey and Saudi Arabia have been ordering insurgents to stage attacks aimed at foiling planned Geneva talks. Wednesday's planned elections have been criticized as a sham by the international community and the opposition. But some in Damascus resent what they see as outside interference. Who should decide, them or us, he says. How can someone sitting in a five-star hotel come and take power? All candidates in the election are said to be pro-government and the votes being held only in state-held areas, not in those controlled by rebels or ISIL. But the head of the election committee says people displaced from some of the worst war-torn areas, such as Aleppo and Deir al-Zur, will be able to vote in polling centres set up elsewhere in the country. Video from the UN's World Food Programme shows relief supplies being dropped on Deir al-Zur, the first such aid for over two years to reach the city which is besieged by ISIL.